All right, let's go over crude oil. Make sure we're on the same page. Remember, what we want to do, let's make life really easy for ourselves. We have, let's go left to right. We have market profile on the far left. It's a great sell signal on the low value area when it retested. The easy way to look at this far left chart is looking at two different types of profiles. We look at volume profile that takes all the volume coming in that particular market and produces this thick green, thick blue, thick red line. The second most important profile is this thin green line and thin red line. Those are the two most important profiles where you want to see the market break and retest because those will create significant support and resistance for any type of market that you trade. The small little red and green dots are not as important. I use them for confluence, but that's price profile. The easy way to trade market profile is you let it break one of those two profiles, you let it retest one of those two profiles, and then you look for a trade setup. You look for an arrow entry with the direction of your next chart, which is the 9 cent. It's your trend chart right next door. So these are your two charts that set the market up. We don't even look at the arrows over here. We don't even look at market delta, the small chart to your bottom right until one of these two charts set the market up. Like if you look at gold right now, put it beside crude, it broke volume profile, low value area, which is a green, thick green. It broke it, it retested it, continuation. Right now we got two times confluence. We have the developing, my thin green, my thick red, our thick green, that's low value area, retested it. We had the arrow that fired just a second ago, right there. Here was a short with negative market delta. Here's a short with negative market delta, just now. So that's how you use market profile in conjunction with the arrows. When, they, when, when the market profile sets the chart up, you can look for an arrow entry. So you don't look at arrows first. Arrows show you a sweet spot on a retracement. But you look at market profile and my trend chart first. So the profiles are really good to look at for support and resistance. If you get below all three profiles, meaning below green, you got a hard trending market down. If you get above HVA all red and retest, you get a hard trending market up. So that's how you use profile. Now the chart next to it, very simply is a trend chart. So if I look at this chart, I know that since 6.30 this morning, we've been strictly in a downtrend on crude. You've not had one buy set up since this bar right here. Not one. There's not been one buy set up, only shorts. It keeps you on the right side of the market. The best way to see when this trend's going to start as I got three moving averages. Moving averages to me are worthless by nature for support and resistance or crossovers, but they're great for trend direction off of this time frame. I use a real long Rinko bar, my 9 sim Rinko bar, which the template's already set up for you, to find trend direction. The bar that really told us that this is going to start its trend is that bar right there. Once you get a 50% close, on the open versus close, meaning not the higher low of the bar, but the thick green body of the candle or thick red body of the candle, once you get a 50% and then 90% of the candle that closes below it, that's a 90% of the candle closed below it, you know you got a possible trend in place. The hottest spot, hottest spot in the market to look for to go short, when you see distance between the smallest MA and the open versus close is not even touching, you're in the hottest spot in the market to go short. You want to look for three SIM setups over here, three SIM Rico setups on retracements after your five SIM breaks symmetry dots because this is the hottest spot. Now, 
once you finally get, and this, we had a beautiful setup here this morning, once you finally get the first green bar, these are the counter trend traders because we're in a downtrend. Once you get the first green bar that closes, that means the counter trend traders are the wrongly positioned traders are coming in the market. This is how we catch the novice traders. The beautiful thing about this system is, is we're on the other side of retail. We're on the other side of counter trend traders. We don't counter trend trade the market. We don't buy hot, buy low, sell high. We don't sell high, buy low. We buy low, we sell low, buy lower. What does that mean? We buy high, sell higher with trend. Right here, the first green bar came in. Once the first green bar closes, I want you to stare at your five Simrenko chart. Find out where your symmetry dots are. Your symmetry dots are very simply over here on the five sim Rico chart. I have a nine sim, a five sim, a three sim. Here's how you trade the five sim. My symmetry dots, red dots are resistance. Blue dots are support. If you're in a downtrend, you're not looking to buy. You're looking to sell only. I want the market to come within two ticks of symmetry dots, which it does. It's a lot of them in Trabar. It just can't close above it by the body of the candle. Right there is your setup. This is a beautiful short we just had in the market. How to set up. These three charts all combine together. Because what happened is, is you, the nine sims in a hard downtrend. You blow all three MAs. You cannot take longs or you will get run over. You're trying to catch a falling knife. You're trying to be a counter trend trader. When I was a guest speaker at the Las Vegas trade show, had over 5,000 plus traders, the majority of traders that I talked to, and when I spoke in front of all these traders, they were counter trend traders. They were trying to buy divergence. They're trying to look for MAC crossovers. They're looking for moving average crossovers. Looking for stochastic divergence. These are these guys right here we're going to catch, the wrongly positioned traders. This is where we catch them. We catch them right here. That's where we're going to catch them. We're in a hard downtrend. We can take arrows when we have space between the small SMA. But once that first green bar closes, we're looking where my symmetry dots are. Once the market comes within two ticks, what do we want to do? Look for error entries off the 5 SIM. It caught it right there. So your entry is right here at this bar. Your stop loss is two ticks above the swing high. Your target is the first set of symmetry dots. I like to put them on the three sim actually. Don't have them in there now because it clutters a chart for you in the arrows. I like to go in hard trending markets, the third set of symmetry dots. I like to scale the first set, second set, third set. What is the market doing now? It found resistance again. Off of symmetry, why? Look what happened over here. Do we have the rolling position traders getting the market again? Yes, green bar close. Are we still below the five sim all three moving average? Yes, it retested. Look at your negative market delta. Here's your negative market delta to get in. Once the arrow fires or negative market delta on resistance of market profile or symmetry dots, negative 189, that's big order imbalance. You short the market, and then you have your first target on the second successful trade. We had two trades in a row that have worked now on crude. The key is the order of importance how you trade this. The bottom line, let's back over a little bit. The bottom line is that you do not want to go against this nine cent trend. In other words, you are a net seller from around 6 o'clock this morning until right now, and it's 8.30. So for two and a half hours, you have been a net seller. You have not been a net buyer. If I put gold over here, the other market we look at in the room, you have been a net seller ever since this bar right here. There's your 90% body of the candle close. That bar right there, you've been a net seller here, here, here. Look at the space. 
Here's where my arrow fired. Typically, it shows the wick of the retest. Arrow fired here for short. Arrow fired here for short. You've been net seller on Golden Crude this morning. You have not had one buy set up. If you have any buys on your trade blotter, you are wrong. You're going against the trend of the market. You cannot have any buys against these two markets. Once the market this morning closes 90% candle above the smaller MA, you're probably going to get a deep retracement. Then we're going to look for, on a deep retracement, another continuation at low value areas. So we got a possible sell set up against the whole number at 69 up here. So you're going to have a possible corrective wave all the way up to around 69. Yeah, market delta is very simple, Frank. And yes, we have videos. Daytradingthefutures.com. Here, buddy. Hold on one sec. Daytradingthefutures.com. Go to recent videos, and that's going to get you on the right page. Let me explain market delta for you real quick. Easy way to see market delta is this. So we have two trades in crude right here. Let's take a look at them. Two back-to-back -back setups. Arrow, uh, the symmetry dots here with 9 sim trend. And right here this morning. When those fired, let's take a look. When this fired at the 90 right there. I'm going to show you what market delta looked like. And right here is where market delta is. So let me show you market delta. So market delta, this is where the arrow fired last time right here. Market delta. We came within two ticks of symmetry dots up here. We're in a downtrend in the 9 sim. If an arrow fires or even if an arrow doesn't fire against market profile, if you get a negative market delta, this is your entry right there, this bar. Once this bar closes on negative market delta, this is an order imbalance. This tells you it's an order imbalance. This is where you short the open of the next bar. Your stop losses, two ticks above the swing high. You do not risk more than two ticks above that swing high. Okay. Yeah, good job, bud. You got to line it up, though, Frank, okay? Line it up. There's an order of importance. That last gold trade that you just took, that's with the 9 sim trend. But let's take a look again. Gerald, switch over to gold. We'll see what Frank's looking at on the trade he took. Switch over to gold. Make sure you guys got this down. Got to keep this. The same trade, the same exact way you trade it, just like you do crude or any other market. I don't care if you trade the NASDAQ, S&P, doesn't matter. Doesn't matter if you trade the DAX. I don't care if you trade the Euro. Look what set this market up. We're in a downtrend. Look at the 9 sim. Look at the green bar that produced. You're looking for the first retracement to go short. Take a look at my arrows on the on the far on the next chart. Arrow within a couple ticks of symmetry. Look at my three sim arrow also. There's your arrow. All with the nine sim trade. Did it produce off of the market profile chart too? Yep. Take a look at that. Let me put them next to each other so you see this. See what I'm talking about. We're getting cranked right now in both markets. Gerald, go back to crude chart. I want to put these market profile charts next to each other. Put the nine sims next to each other. Take a look at the similarities. How this trade, how this market trades. There's what we got. 
Look how crude oil stopped the market on market profile right there. Look how crude oil stopped the market on market profile, almost to the tick right there. Look how the green bar reversal got the counter trend traders, and we had an arrow short right here. Look at the green bar reversal below all three moving averages. Once it comes in, look for the short setup. We got an arrow short here. Same exact setup, isn't it? I don't care what market you trade. It's the same exact setup every single day. Does not matter if you're in a trend market like this. If you're in chop, if we log in then, however, if we log in, if we log in and our ninth sim rate goes flat as a pancake sideways, then we don't even trade arrows. We ignore arrows. We ignore the arrows. We just trade the market profile. We buy the low of LVA, sell the high of HVA over here. It's going to be a range inside the pro and when you're inside of the uh, profile, you're in range. Buy low, sell the high on the first and second test with market delta. Then we'll wait for a breakout and look what happens when you get breakouts. Look what happens on crude when you get breakouts. You have one sided market. Look at this. There's nothing holding the market up. This is not my opinion. It's not your opinion. This is not our opinions. This is actually internal internals of the market. These are electronically traded markets. What this market profile charts, that big blue thick line, that tells us one thing. That tells us that's the most volume that's traded from all the algorithms, all the hedge funds, the prop firms, professional traders, retail traders, and that's how I get this thin green line, thin red line, thick red, and thick green, and why they stop the market almost to the tick on both markets. But stay with the trend of the 9 sim. I cannot stress that enough. We're going to know when the market gets in a counter trend trade. Right now, in gold and crude, look at this. Look at the space between all the moving averages. Look at this. Look at that on the smaller MA. Look at the hard, the open versus closed, not, in, not even touching our smaller MA. What's that tell you? They're marking the market down. They continue to mark the market down. You have to be short. You got to look for retracement selling. What happens is when we get a 90% close, eventually above the smaller MA, you're probably going to get a corrective wave. That's when they're going to gel it back up into the next wave down. You got to lay off the shorts in. But right now, it's short. You want to keep on the shorts. And my 9 sim has produced the exact spots in the market. It's two for two on crude, two for two on gold this morning. 